Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Dell computer here. I'm going to show you how to factory reset it. Um, this is good if you have like malware, if your computer is running slow. There's a lot of reasons why you would want to just factory reset your computer. However, do be aware that it will erase all of your saved data, all of your settings. Um, so if, if you don't want that, I'll show you how to do what's called like a soft reset. Um, so a lot of your files will be saved, but it won't be as effective in fixing those issues. Um, any questions, any concerns, leave them below as a comment. Um, check the frequently asked questions in the description. It may save you some time. If you do have to leave a comment, I do try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, so to start with, if you're in your computer and you can access your desktop, uh, come down here to your search bar and type in reset. This is, I, I, I like the search bar. It's kind of the fastest way you can get to a lot of things other than double clicking and opening file after, after file. So you'll see this reset this PC on, under system settings. Click on that. That'll open up your system settings screen. Um, so reset this PC right here on top. So if you want, hit get started. Now again, this is where you choose. Let me zoom in on this option for you because this will be the option where you choose between losing all your files and not. So this is the option right here. Keep my files um, or remove everything. Remove everything is, is like a hard factory reset. Um, that's what you would want to do if, if you've got a lot of malware, if you've already backed up your data, or if you don't care about losing any data, you would do your hard reset. If you want to do a soft reset, you would use this one which would remove a lot of apps and settings, but keep your files. And again, keep in mind that may not do everything you want it to do with a factory reset. Now, if you cannot access your desktop, if your computer is stuck and it's not loading, um, in older models of Dell, when you hit power to start your computer, start tapping on F8. Um, and that will take you to a similar option where you would choose reset this PC and you would see these two options again, keep your files or remove everything. In that case, you would definitely want to do a hard reset because your operating system isn't working if you can't access your desktop. Um, in newer Dell computers, the F8 key is kind of irrelevant. Uh, there's been a lot of changes with how BIOS loads and your operating system loads that make it load so quickly that you kind of have no time to hit F8. Um, so that option more and more is, is becoming obsolete. If that's the case and you cannot access your desktop, the only way to factory reset is with the original uh, CD or the original flash drive for the recovery options. If you don't have that, check down in the description um, and I'll have a link of where you can download uh, fresh install media for Windows 10 and I'll have a video on how to use that install media to uh, put Windows on, on your computer fresh to install a fresh copy of Windows and that's your best option if you just can simply not reset um, either because your operating system is too corrupt and the reset won't go through or because your computer won't load to the desktop and F8 doesn't work for you. Um, so that, that was a quick video. Resetting isn't that complicated. Hopefully you can get through this without a, too much of a hitch. Um, again, even if you have to reinstall, the, the links are below. Any questions, leave them below. Uh, like and, uh, what's it called? <laughs> like and share. <laughs> oh, God. Like and share if this was helpful. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching.